Happy New Year, everyone, and uh, welcome to episode 12 of the TCC CTC Link vlog. Um, hope everyone had a nice break and has had a great start to winter quarter. I just have a few things I wanted to chat about today. Um, first off, I want to talk about data conversion. Uh, we're about to start our data conversion cycle number three. Uh, it was supposed to start on Monday the 6th, uh, but there's been some delays to that, so it will actually start Monday, January 13th. Uh, for our data conversion three run and uh, there's some interesting things that are happening with this particular uh, run number one There will be a lot more data uh, than the previous conversion runs So we're going to see quite a bit of the uh, TCC's data in the system and so the validators will have access to more data um, Secondly, uh, we will have access to the Oracle data integrator tool um, or ODI which will allow us to kind of look at the PeopleSoft data structure and help us plan uh, for building our operational data store or ODS on campus that will let us integrate with our supporting systems that we have on campus. So third party applications or applications that we built in house. Uh, and then finally we'll have access to uh, reporting tools which is really exciting. So we'll be able to start looking at what reporting will look like in this new environment and maybe uh, build some sample reports and kind of take a look at uh, how that will function. Um, so if you're interested in, in looking at the data conversion, uh, what's coming up in data conversion, uh, the CTC Link team has developed a, a data conversion calendar. So if you log into the CTC Link SharePoint site and uh, from the home page you just click on functional processes. And on the functional processes side, uh, under lists, you'll find uh, data conversion calendar list view. Now you can click on that and you'll see all of the items that are happening for the remainder of the data conversion cycles. But if you want, you can actually click on each cycle individually and look at that data. So cycle three, if you wanna see what's happening with cycle three, these are the items, um, these are the locations where they're going to happen, uh, various servers and things, and then uh, the start time and end time for those conversion cycles. So if you wanna check that out, uh, feel free to take a look at it at the, on the CTC Link uh, SharePoint site. Um, and then finally, I wanted to talk about uh, badges. And so we're planning to use badges uh, for uh, the CTC Link training, but I thought I'd kind of give you all a preview of what uh, badges are and uh, give you a, a way that you can actually acquire a badge if, you, if you're interested. Um, so we're gonna be using the uh, Mozilla Backpack uh, for badges. It's, a, it's an open source uh, tool uh, that allows you to collect badges. So it's a way for issuers um, to send, send out a badge and for people to collect them. <clears throat> and so uh, the, the website address is backpack.openbadges.org and you can simply create an account by clicking the login or sign up button and uh, you can set up an account in the system and if you do happen to set up an account in this system feel free to send me an email and let me know at aduckworth at tacomacc.edu and I will award you a badge for uh, setting up a Mozilla Backpack account. Um, and so I thought I'd give you just a glimpse of what Mozilla Backpack looks like when you log in. So this is my personal uh, Mozilla Backpack site. Um, I, we've been doing some testing with the state team and apparently I've earned the CTC Link Ninja badge. So um, that's a special badge. I don't know if we'll be able to award that to, to others, but it's been in our testing environment, but I'll check into that. Um, but then you'll see here the Mozilla Backpack sign up badge. So this is a badge that you can earn um, if you uh, sign up for an account and send me an email. So that's all I have for uh, this time around, um, but stay tuned for Monday for the CTC Link questions, so for your chance to, to host Link. And if you have any questions at any time, feel free to stop by uh, 16224, um, give me a call uh, or shoot me an email, I'd be happy to chat with you. Thanks.